Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to the walkabouts. And they will be performing Cold Eye. So here we go.
So it was the walkabouts and cold eye. Uh, I like the, the the walkabouts are a band. I I've heard a few of their songs. So, um, they're not the top music I would normally listen to, but I have liked what I've heard of them. I'm trying to think where I first. heard their music. I think the guitarist and uh, vocalist Chris Eckman has collaborated with um, a surf rock band. I think they're from Croatia. Um, the Bambi Molesters, which are a great band. I think he might have also produced a couple of their albums. Um, I think that might be where I first uh, kind of heard about Chris Eckman. And I like the stuff that he did with um, with the Bambi Molesters, and I think that's how I got to the Walkabouts. He, Chris Ackman has also collaborated with an Australian musician, Hugo Race, um, who's an uh, Australian. I think he's a multi instrumentalist, mostly known for guitar songwriter, singer. Um, yeah, so er, all the instruments were great on this. The piano uh, was Glenn Slater. Um, the drums and percussion, Terry Mola. Bass, Michael Wells. Uh, the guitars had um, Carla Torgerson and Chris Eckman and on steel guitar David Imagluck um, and the strings are great as well that string section they were members of the Warsaw Philharmonic Orchestra the the lead vocals was Chris Eckman and Carla Torgerson on backing vocals um, yeah, they were all great. Um, a bit about them. The Walkabouts were an American rock band formed in Seattle, Washington in 1984. The core members were vocalist Carla Torgerson and vocalist and songwriter Chris Ekman, although the rest of the lineup changed occasionally. For most of the time, the other members were Michael Wells, Glenn Slater and Terry Muller. The band drew inspiration from folk and country music, particularly Towns, Van Zandt, Neil Young and Johnny Cash, but also from other types of artists and musical styles such as Scott Walker, Leonard Cohen, um, French Jansen, and Jacques Brel, um, not sure if I'm pronouncing them correctly. Their sound was typically rich with string arrangements and keyboards in addition to the standard rock instruments. Devil's Road is a studio album released in 1996. Cold Eye is track four, written by Chris Eckman. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way you do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It helps. And I hope to see you on another video soon. Thanks for watching.